Well, hello there, and welcome once again to the Ham Brothers Podcast. I am your not-so-humble host, Robert Brunel. With me, as always, is La Morsa Anthony Calles. Hola. And our favorite Jewish person, Matthew Shipway. <clears throat> what was that, bro? <clears throat> Can't even say, like, hi or hello. <clears throat> Just... <clears throat> it's a disgusting noise, too, <clears throat> by the way. But forget the three of us. It's all about our special guest. One of our very few returning guests, as a matter of fact. He's a guitar player extraordinaire. He is a host of uh, Alley Reviews on Be Real TV. You can catch that on YouTube. Our dear friend, Pierre Blaise. Hey! Thanks for coming back, dude. Yeah, thanks for picking me up. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> See, there's accidents surrounding our our podcast. Yeah, I was thinking about that, the the similarities. that po- no, This is almost like a pod crash part two, technically. Are we, are we, are we causing these accidents? <laughs> I mean, just oh, as long as it's not happening to me anymore, I'm fine with that. that had an accident? Well, it was um, me, uh, yeah. Matt, when when he had, when his car got hit on, on the, actually on the live. podcast, live, live while we were recording. And then, you guys were doing it in the car? No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> it was parked in front of Rob's house, and oh. some asshole just smashed right into the back of it. Totally. Yeah, that's funny, because <laughs> usually it's the opposite. No, yeah, I totally usually funny. smash into asshole. No. <laughs> uh, but no, yeah. Uh, how soon after uh, w- you talked to Kai, is did, did you have your accident? Oh, no, no, no. It, well, oh, yeah, because I, I initially asked, you know, Kai, is if, if it was cool to come back, and... Uh, we scheduled it, and then we rescheduled it, and I think maybe like a day or two. It's yeah, it's, 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 it's you. <laughs> pretty, yeah. Pretty sure I, it's you. Yeah, I, it could have been. I mean, yeah, it was man, a day or two. Yeah, you called me, like, and I was like, oh, no, I called you, because I was confirming. Just like, it was like, a, you know, we had like a week out, and I was like, okay, cool, we're, we're good to go. And you're like, oh. Oh, by the way, <laughs> yeah, that's. I think that's why I sent you the picture because I didn't want you to just think like I didn't want to. Come oh, you back. sent me a picture? I didn't. I, I didn't. Or maybe I didn't. I, didn't, didn't get that. I don't know. Uh, Insurance purposes. Oh no, I probably believed not. You. I, I mean, didn't I do believed it. you. <laughs> Kai's, you're the only one that I, I've ever known that's actually uh, destroyed a car without actually like touching anyone else. When you fell asleep on the freeway. Oh yeah. <laughs> Well, I, I, you were I, looking at me like that didn't happen. Well, no, I didn't. Uh, I, I didn't, I didn't understand too. what you were talking about. Like you I didn't. Was, I mean, it was a car accident, but there yeah. was no it was like own, it was your own accident. Yeah, and like, I, I wasn't on the freeway. I was getting onto the freeway. Okay. Wow. How do you pass out getting on the freeway? I mean, because I, I, I was I, it, I right it. where Holt turns into the ten. <laughs> where Holt turns into the ten, right? Like if you take Holt all the way up, and it's uh-huh, yeah, just, yeah. There's, it's a giant on ramp essentially. So going towards the on ramp, I fell asleep, like on the curve, I guess. Like I was starting to make the turn, fell asleep, and then drifted down into the embankment. And oh. then, and when I hit the embankment, that woke me up, and I was headed straight for the freaking the, those giant pillars that, that oh, support Jesus. the whole thing. So I just I was said no. <laughs> And like slammed on the brakes and turned the wheel. Uh, when I turned, I hit the guardrail, and the guard and being at the angle that I was, it flipped the car. So then I rolled twice. Did and you see it all in directly. slow motion? Uh, no, it was more of like like the no, and then I slammed on the brakes, turned, and then all of a sudden I'm upside down. And okay. I was like, you know, like I knew something was going on, but it was just immediate. Yeah, you're most of the time in, a, in an accident or some like major trauma like that. Your body's like, or your your mind is just like, you okay. don't need to remember this. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna edit this part out. Well, yeah, even for me, you know, I just remember seeing a green light and then I was headed in the opposite direction suddenly. Right. So what? So what happened? Like you were you were in the left turn lane. So I was I was literally going into work. So maybe it was like a happy accident, you know? Because what if I would have like fallen off a fucking ladder that night or something, right. you know? Never so. Know. Exactly. So I think that was kind of like a precursor to yeah. don't go to work, you know, because <laughs> I still had the option. And it's like, well, my wrist is fucked up, so probably not. Yeah. But honestly, dude, I don't I don't really know. I was in a, I was in the turn lane. I remember it was like a protected light. So I just saw green and suddenly a fucking, you know, G-Wagon. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know. It was wild. Oh shit! So then, but, where did it hit you on your? So it hit me on my on my uh, on my passenger side in the front. Okay, the so you were not already like, I didn't get like T bone. Yeah, I, I was already turning, but he's it was, you know, a foot off of being head on. Right. So, <clears throat> damn, that's scary shit. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't too fun, you know, especially because I I literally just got my my Jeep out of the shop. Yeah, and you've you been know. working on that thing for a minute, right? Like You're tired. I, 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 I did. I haven't done the math, but uh, whatever minutes equal thirteen years. Yeah. Right. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure that we that we talked about the Jeep the last time that you were here. Well, no, I mean, I yeah. Well, that's true too. Probably. I don't know. I don't remember, but yeah, probably. I I definitely know that I drove that Jeep to yeah. the last podcast. Mm-hmm. So the thing I'm trying to get off of the Jeep now is that. Black Dahlia murder sticker that I've had on it for like, you know, seven or eight years at this point. <laughs> Why are you trying to take it off? If you take it off, it's going to fall apart. It's <laughs> holding the fucking... That's probably true. It's holding the whole Jeep together. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I, I don't know if I'm going to fix it or not. It, it's pretty fucked. So yeah. I think it's, uh, I'm just going to take all those parts and uh, take them off, take them back to AutoZone and try to get my money back. Yeah. One at, a time. <laughs> One at a time. Different auto zones. Like no, the same auto zone. Just be like, hey, this alternator Every didn't work day. again. <laughs> <laughs> All of these parts are. As soon bad. as I put these parts in my car, it got in an accident. So right. I don't want to blame you guys. <laughs> but, but it was probably their fault. For oh sure. yeah, absolutely. Actually, it was probably o- O'Reilly's. You know. Yeah, they oh, sabotaged. They yeah. sabotaged they knew my you car. Were going back and forth. They were like, yeah. you can't, can't be have those fucking parts. <laughs> They're my parts. Wouldn't it probably be an Irish accent though? So you can't have those fucking parts. Yeah. That's an iPod. That's true. Right, the AutoZone's property. like, hey, come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I need the parts. Do you yeah. have a twenty-four houring one? There, yeah, there isn't an. Uh, there should be an Auto's or a. Uh, There's a twenty-four hour AutoZone. No, no, I mean, uh, like, uh, there's uh, O'Reilly should have a, a leprechaun for their. For their mascot. For their mascot. Oh. But, it, yeah. It probably seem culturally insensitive. To yeah, that. Pro- well, I mean, shit. at this point, the fucking leaf you know is insensitive right like why why is the leaf for irish people yeah what the shamrock what? yeah oh yeah well because they I, got a lot of grass there that, yeah it's very green since guys and guys you, you, we both know firsthand from, from being there irish people don't give a fuck about if you make anything. fun of them oh no no they make they're not themselves but they're not oh, pussies, more. constantly you know? they're yeah. not they're not giant pussies no, no they're hard drinking fucking Badasses at fucking Love Island. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, everybody in the... It, it, here's the thing. A lot of people think, that like, oh, everybody in America is a giant pussy, but it's really not true. It's just California and New York. And it's not even the people that live here. It's the people that, that are on our face. You know what I mean? It's not the actual blood. It's the face of the blood that makes us look stupid as fuck all the time. Okay. You yeah, know, I like... See, I see what you're saying. It's right. like the people that present themselves as like, oh, we are Californians. Like, no, motherfucker, you moved here from somewhere else to be somebody. Right. You're yeah, not a Californian. Yeah, and that's not what I think of when I think of Californians either. It's like people that are raised here from from the get. It's like, think of a typical Californian. I'm like, well, he's Mexican for fucking <laughs> starters. <laughs> yeah. Like, or he's, he's not protesting know. somebody at Berkeley right now. Yeah. He's no. got five jobs. Fucking smokes weed. We hang out, drink Bud, buy tall cans, yep. and definitely has <laughs> more kids than he has jobs. Oh, all right. it has just <laughs> slightly more kids than jobs. Yeah, maybe like uh, six, six and a half, six, maybe five six, and a half. Six to two. Yeah. Like, he, yeah, he has one of them. One of them's definitely retarded. Yeah. Right. Oh, I thought he meant the jobs. Uh, well, those two. <laughs> those two. Some of them are part time. Yeah. He does something stupid. Right. Like jerks people off in alleys. <laughs> Dude, you know on what I was, TV. You know what I was thinking about? It's like these these fucking uh, th- they're talking about adding this question about citizenship to the to the census and all that, you know. And uh, it's like, uh, dude, I don't I don't think illegal immigrants are that hard to find. Every fucking time I go to fucking Home Depot, every Saturday there's a hundred dudes, yeah. right? Not fucking around. It's kind of my fu- like my uh, my game to try and see if I can count all of them before I park. Well, it depends on which one you go to, because the one in Chino Hills doesn't have any, and I think it's uh, the demographic. Yeah, that too. They get well because it's, I don't think people in Chino Hills will be picking them up for work. Well, I mean, it's hard enough to get those Asian people to fucking pay for shit at the store, like <laughs> at the shelf price. You know, they're always like, "It's open. Right. <laughs> you give me discount." 
And I'm like, like no, dude, you I'm fucking, I just watched you open it. I'm your right. fucking gardener. No, no discounts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to, oh, I don't want these one. Well, why not? It's open. Well, I just watched you open it. Uh, could I have other? It's like, no, dude, I just told you there was one in the fucking store. You opened it. Now you want a discount on something that you opened. Aren't you going to fucking mow your lawn outside of like the lawnmower being in the box? Or are you just going to try to mow your lawn with the fucking... You're just going to be pushing a box around your fucking lawn? No, no. no this dude, is, you this have is to take collectors, it out of the box. Collector's lawnmower. It's a tri-built collector. I, I put this on shelf for many years. <laughs> oh, you guys are insensitive. You're making fun of Asians. I can't even... I, I didn't even do the accent, really. I did. And I didn't go fool. You did kind of. You had like, it's I like started a fading it accent. I started it in And it's way. not even like, you know, and it's funny because the same people that are going to be upset about that, they're like, oh, you made fun of Asians. Oh, so you're saying all Asians sound like that? Right. No, Dick, yeah. you're the racist. <laughs> Some Filipinos talk like this and then, you know, the, the Japanese. Yeah. You know, like this completely I, different. I, I, I work with a Filipino dude and like I can, I, since working with him for a year and a half almost now, I've understood probably about 30% of all the things that he's told <laughs> Well, dude, honestly, like, like I, I just love. I love the dude. He's great. Well, yeah, like Filipinos naturally are, are really fucking cool people. Oh, they're yeah. they're, oh, they're oh, the yeah. Mexicans of, of of Asia. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. You know, mm-hmm. and I, that's why I, you know we get along so well. Right. There's, there's, a, there's, a, there's an old Filipino man on my block. And, uh, Does he have giant like mole on his face with like three <laughs> hairs growing out of it? There's always <laughs> only three hairs growing out. of I it. I didn't look that close. They're though. really thick too. But the other day when I was walking my son around the block, he he's uh like uh on the sidewalk and he says, "Okay, now we have some fun. I erase you." And I said, erase me? He said, no, I erase you. Go! And he's like, oh! And so he's all shuffling next to us. He's like, ah, you win it this time. He kind of became Italian, but that's, I don't have a Filipino accent. But it was, it was very fucking adorable. No, that's, that's great. Well, my, my stepmom's Filipina, and every time I come over with, like, a little gift or, like, a little trinket or something, you know, like like flowers or something she she just looks at me and goes oh you're so rich <laughs> <laughs> i'm like no dude i'm not like get down i barely those... made it here grandma you know? <laughs> she, she get down on those uh those chicken fetuses oh dude i don't know what she she the makes du- uh, the duck the duck fetus or duck oh, embryo oh the, the little duck embryo fetus. yeah no um there's a lot of like uh i don't know like tamarind chicken you know right like yeah. like just classic Filipino food, dude. Our, our adobo, our, our boy, our boy yeah. Murta. That motherfucker. I've never seen anybody eat a chicken like that. Like he like ate the fucking marrow out of the bones and shit. Oh yeah, yeah. dude. That's but, just bomb. Yeah, it was just gnarly. Once you're done with the whole chicken, <laughs> the chicken roast, you know, you just boil the bones. Dude, this yeah, yeah stock. I, was a bra, yeah. It's it made me feel stock. very wasteful. Like I was like, damn, I've, I've been, <laughs> I have not been finishing chicken this whole fucking time. All right. Yeah, no, it definitely turns into ant mentality when there's no food around. You know? Right. Just uh, eat yeah, it. scrape everything. <laughs> Just fucking eat it. Well, yeah, but, you know, he, he grew up a Chino. Like, oh, yeah, so right. he was definitely. <laughs> oh, so he was eating meth. <laughs> no, love Aww. you, Jimmy. No, cows and meth. That's, that's, that's Chino for me when I was in high school, just seeing that, you know, people on the farm. Yeah. And then. I stayed. I stayed away from all the cows and meth. Yeah, yeah I, I did too. I think I only, yeah, only had. <laughs> you had to think about that. One or not? Well, yeah, well, I was thinking about the dairy parties. Oh, like, yeah. you know, like I yeah, never, I went to those, but uh, I didn't see any meth. Maybe yeah, I, I wasn't I looking know. hard enough. Meth adjacent. Oh, I saw meth. Uh, dude, oh, for sure. Meth was everywhere. Yeah. Like it was crazy to think about how many kids in high school were on meth. Yeah. But yeah. you know what? A lot of that shit has to do with the fact that people think that they're doing cocaine. Right. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> you know, like a lot of, I, I've been, I've been to a lot of places. I've done a lot of stuff in my life, but when I went to like Bogota, Colombia, Ooh. for the first time, I actually I had real, real shit, you know, real cocaine, goodness. and I was just like, oh my god, this is so much cooler because <laughs> it doesn't make you feel like it does here. Right. And then I came back here, and you know, somebody, an unsavory person ask me hey do you want you know do you want to party and it's like well yeah fuck it dude why not let's let's try it up and dude that shit burnt and i was like what is this and he's oh it's coke and i'm like this is definitely not coke (laughs) 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 like 
first of all, like I know I I should have known better because you came yeah. in the bar like riding a skateboard. Right. And well, we're, it's it's just we're all in our cut 30s, to shit like, by the time it gets to gets over here. Well, it's it's really not. It's just you know, some people don't have money for real shit, which is why you right. can't. You know. But it's it's also like, dude, I don't, I don't need that stuff no more. Yeah. You know? I, I it's not like I ever really did, but you know, right. it's fun. But I could definitely see how that shit gets out of hand real quick. I'm t- <laughs> too old for that shit, dude. Yeah, like it takes me too long to recover from partying like I used to. Oh, well, yeah. that's the thing too. Is here, that shit makes you feel like shit for a week after. Oh yeah. And like, oh, uh, why am I am I getting a cold now? Like, oh man. Mm-hmm. But real shit makes your leg almost fall off because that's what happened to me when I came back to the States. Like, <laughs> Did your leg like, fall off? Dude, like my whole red, my 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 whole leg was completely bright red. So like what every time I like, I had like white push around every inch of my leg. Why? And what? I have no idea. But your heartbeat was going so hard or what? No, I don't, I, honestly, like it was just my left leg that was fucked up. And I was like, what's you, going you, on? You here? know for sure it was related to... No, but, you know, I could only assume. <laughs> you had an but embolism too. during the flight, bro. <laughs> That's not the... I could have I could have gotten bit by something. I don't know, but it was it was pretty bad. Yeah, it is Colombia. You know? It's probably has some venomous shit down there. Dude, it was pretty... It was a beautiful, beautiful country. Yeah. You know? What were we doing out See, there? See, dude, even... Cocaine. <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, you know what? I mean, much. Just, just as an American, you weren't sketched going there? No, not at all. No, no, no. No, my whole job. Uh, uh, the the reason why I, I got asked, um, two of my buddies, they they play in a band. They were on the Rob Deerdick's uh, Fantasy Factory. Okay. Uh, they have a mobile truck stage, and uh, there's an episode where you know Rob hooks up their truck and like makes it super pimped out because it's it was an old like U-Haul truck and they cut the side of it off, and put a mobile stage inside so they have somebody driving while they're playing you know they just flip the the side of the truck up and and it's super dope you know so deer dick hooked them up and like made it super pimped out uh i met those guys on mayhem festival and they were like their whole thing was they would play in the parking lot for people because they have a fucking stage and if the cops or anybody says get out of here it's like all right well just pack it up just just pack it up as soon as the (laughs) cops start rolling up you dip yeah. Right. You know, so those dudes ended up becoming a part of the tour because, you know, they would do that. They would follow the tour every year. And um, eventually, uh, John Reese, you know, asked them to be a part of the festival. And so they would play during the uh, the uh, metal militia, you know, jumping their dirt bikes and uh, whatnot. Because they're like a two-piece, like, hardcore band or, like, you know, speed punk band. Okay. So super, like, like that style, you know. And... I remember when we were on the tour, uh, one of the one of the members of In Flames, their their father had passed away, so they dropped the tour at that point, which opened up a time slot. So the Athearchists were able to now get that time slot because they needed a band to fill it. So it was super cool to meet these dudes because there's they they reminded me a lot of like like us in our bands, you know, before anything is like. You want it, you want it, you want it, and eventually they got it, which was super cool. And then it was just like seeing that next step up was amazing for me because it it gave me like renewed sense of hope for like anything really. You just keep pushing and something's going to happen, you know. But uh, so I met those guys on that tour and eventually they had asked me if I wanted to go to Colombia with them because they were playing the Bogota Death Fest. And, uh... Wait a minute. So they didn't take the, the truck to Columbia. No. <laughs> I, I Dude, if, if Deirdrick would have, like, hooked up with, you know, fucking Elon Musk and put, like, rocket shit on that, <laughs> like, I could see that happening. Like, Elon... Oh, well, you could, drive to, Col- you could <laughs> drive to Columbia. No. No? No. No? I mean, you know, well, I guess anything is possible. <laughs> In this day and age? I don't know where Columbia is. I think I'm, this is what the real question. <laughs> you know, honestly, yeah, no. I don't I don't really concern myself with those things. As long as the pilot knows how to get there, I think I'm good. Right. <laughs> you didn't even go to Columbia, dude. I that probably... was fucking Miami. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was... It's Columbia, that was, Washington. <laughs> yeah, 
I mean, it could have been, you know. Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's only a two and a half hour flight. Like, yeah, that's, it was. I mean, it was well, really so it's not that far. Guys. I guess in, in back to, back to my original question, it, it's not like you were necessarily going there to just kind of do the tourist thing and 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 hang uh, out. No, I, my my initial job was was the fact that those guys uh, reached out to me and. They, you know, honestly, they they took me out of a really dark place instantly. You know, uh, I was going through a lot of shit at that time, and being friends with those dudes, I, you know, confided in them after after the fact of of meeting them on tour and whatnot. And uh, Dano hit me up one day and just asked, like, "Hey, dude, you want to get out of here? Let's, you know, just get us to the hotel from the airport without getting kidnapped, <laughs> and and the rest of the time you just chill." There you go. And I was like, yeah, I could do that. You know, fuck it. It's simple Spanish, you know. No. So it got us there. How long were you there for? It felt like a second, yeah. you know, but we were there for four days, something like that. So, like, when you, when you, when you go to Jamaica, right? Yeah. When you go to Jamaica, pretty immediately people start offering you cannabis. How soon... In Colombia, was someone like, "Hey, would you like some cocaine?" I do cocaine. Yeah, it was pretty immediate. It's like on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> we, as, as you're thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for flying yeah. Colombian Airlines. We have touched down now. Yeah, please take your complimentary blankets and cocaine oh, sack. Well, well I mean, you know, Hawaii women come off, give you lays. Yeah, they don't. Know, they, they don't exactly call cocaine. it the airlines for no reason. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I imagine that's how it is, uh, you know, any place that's known for its drugs. When I was in Acapulco, mm -hmm. everyone was offering me weed, right? Yeah. And uh, I bought some on the beach from this guy. He's like, oh, it's all quick and, and secretive about it. It was spice. No, no, it was real weed. <laughs> uh, dude, Don't, for like, hey, there's no shame uh, in that game. I bought, I bought spice off of a homeless person before. No, nah, no. Nah. Just to not again support it, him, or because you wanted to smoke spice. Well, I, you <laughs> know, it looked, it, <laughs> you know, I wanted to support him. Yeah. You know, I, I I knew it was some bullshit. Did you smoke it? No, I tried to get my friends to smoke it, and they were like, "Yo, what the fuck is this?" And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "Gotcha, bitch." Yeah. <laughs> Yo, don't worry about it. Just I bought it from the knife it. guy in L.A. Right. <laughs> the knife guy. <laughs> Dude, there's a there's a guy in the alleys. Uh, he goes around to all the different venues in in downtown L.A. And we call him the knife guy because he sells knives and he sells tasers and whatnot, you know. In alleys? That's in different not a good alleys. Spot. And, Jesus. you know, he looks a little harsh at first, especially if you're not used to, you know, because he comes around often enough to, like, we know this dude, you know? Yeah. Not, I don't know where he lives or anything. He probably doesn't live anywhere, but he Everybody just, lives somewhere. I think well, somebody named the knife guy. Probably doesn't live anywhere. I mean, I call I called him the knife guy because that's the knife guy. I don't know his yeah. name. He's just like, hey, there's the knife guy. You guys need knives? Dude, he, nah, it's got a it's got a knife hookup. <laughs> dude, it's got a knife connect. Dude, he has the sweetest little like box on the front of his fucking bicycle filled with knives. I think it says knives on it <laughs> on the... with a backward Z. You know, carved with, in, right? Carved in. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be carved. It's got to be carved. If it was written, I'd be like, dude, come on. <laughs> Do you even know how to use a knife? He was not a knife. What I thought you were. No, he's the expert in tasers. He likes to show off. How those things work. I now, think, okay, wait a minute. I think, any, I think anybody that has a taser wants to show you how it works. Yeah. Oh, they're dying to use it. <laughs> Every person that has a, a taser is just waiting for someone. Just waiting. It's 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 cool because he always shows the flashlight taser combo, and I always think like, dude, how fucked up. Right. <laughs> you know, like, oh, here, borrow my flashlight. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Does he wait to show off the tasers until after he sells the knives? He's like, oh, I, I got was nice. But if you're looking for an upgrade, I got these tasers that, as well. That too, pretty much. You know, like, oh, I don't, yeah, I don't need a knife. He's like, well, you know, I got other stuff. <laughs> well, it's like, you know, how like uh, you, you got a problem with snakes, so you get a bunch of mongoose, and then, you know, like, you go back and forth like right. that. Like, that's the sell, is he's like, he, he gives you the knife to defend yourself. And then he shocks you with the taser to show you how <laughs> pointless <laughs> the knife fucking <laughs> knife was. And what you really need now right, is a taser. taser. But and after so that, happened. he shoots you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the see, it's, it's so funny because it's like uh, all of those things you could probably kill, definitely kill somebody with. You could stab someone to death. You could probably kill someone with a taser if you shocked them long enough. Oh no, dude, you could definitely kill somebody with a taser. You yeah, could yeah. you could kill somebody with a nine volt battery. Yep. See, you, know, you don't. So if you don't. 
we don't we have had any problem, right, uh, uh, with that story. We're like, oh, this uh, quirky gentleman sells knives and tasers. How funny is that? If he was selling fucking guns, right, yeah. I'd be like, whoa. <laughs> Wait that's a not, minute. I don't, I don't know if that guy should be selling guns in the alley. No, that's not knife guy. That's a gun guy. <laughs> that's gun guy. Gun guy is not on the street. <laughs> He's, he has money. No, oh, he is. Well, I mean, he does. It's all invested in his in his veins. There's probably a lot more uh, markup in gun in gun guy than knife guy. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, unless meth guy has the guns, then meth- he's like, oh, twenty dollars, dude. Yeah. <laughs> unless meth guy is making the knives, he could be. Oh. He could be forging steel <laughs> under a fucking overpass as we speak right now. <laughs> do, you, do you think he like, in a, in a no, he's melting down fire. the guns <laughs> into knives? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> That's not gonna. Well, I guess you know what. In the distant future, if there's no bullets and everyone forgot how to make them, it's right. like this should this might as well be a knife. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. or just, a cl- it's a hammer people now. People are just sharpening the guns. Like, yeah, just point. file it down. <laughs> yeah, gun knife. Final gun Fantasy. Knife. There you go. I always. That's always been. Uh, just speaking of guns. A daydream I've always had since I was like in junior high is that I'd go back in time with like AK 47s and fuck shit up. Dude, on top of the, I imagine myself on top of the Sphinx in Egypt, like, brrr, like I rule like, this shit. I'm Pharaoh now. <laughs> like, oh yeah, Moses? Everybody's like, what is this? You yeah, need those people like, to let go, huh? People wouldn't understand <laughs> at first. I'd have to cap a few. Yeah. I'd cap the Pharaoh. Well, no, I think they just literally <laughs> wouldn't understand what you're saying. Well, <laughs> they like, that guy this. just pointed that metal thing at me, and now he's dead. <laughs> so this guy is fucking, I don't know what language he's speaking, but he just pointed at that guy, and he's <laughs> fucking dead. <laughs> he, did, you, did you see? Did you see? Did you see Greg? He was that? alive, Dude, and then he was fucking I've, not. He's—I yeah. like, have never heard anything as loud as that. <laughs> what in the fuck was that? I don't know, but uh, don't piss him off. Don't is let that, him point is that, that thing at you. Fire coming out of his hands. <laughs> yeah, what like, is fire? <laughs> Only pharaohs have that. Before even, well, yeah, they definitely didn't. They didn't, probably didn't have archery yet. I'm not sure yeah, of sure the timeline. They, they, they had. Did they have they archery? Had archery. Sure. When yeah. was that? Egyptians. Yeah. That was that was yeah. a long, long time ago. Well, I'm going to go back to the guy that invents the bow. I played Shoot Assassin's it. Creed Origins. And they had bows in that. Okay. Well, well here's the thing. Go. The guy that invented the bow was like, I'm tired of this fucking knife. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> I, wish, I wish I could throw this knife yeah. further. <laughs> like straighter. So this knife is, I got to get too close for this. I keep getting bit by that fucking <laughs> tiger every time. Yeah, no. That was, that was like Stone Age type far, stuff. Man. Yeah, up close that dude was dangerous, but no, <laughs> at a distance he was fucked. Yeah, rocks were probably was was just weapon number one. Yeah, just pick the shit up, bash its head, or even just tossing it at each other. Yeah, like be, just chucking a rock at some fool's head. Well, either that or just fucking picking somebody up by the ankles and slamming them down, <laughs> like a cartoon. Yeah, that's just not really a weapon, it. more of a move. Turn, yeah, you turn that person into a weapon. How do you, you hit sell other that? people? How would you sell that if that was a weapon? You hit a motherfucker with another motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you're just you're just telling the knowledge. Yeah. You're like, if buy you this give dead me, baby for me. <laughs> you give me some of your bison. I will show you. Don't let the soft skull fool you. <laughs> <laughs> it's very. It, it it forms to your head. Wow. <laughs> I've got this baby in a holster. <laughs> <laughs> Now you just got to imagine somebody fucking drawing that baby yes. out of the holster. <laughs> <laughs> they just fucking... <laughs> they straight for a second, then they flop back down. Sometimes you... I forget, what do they call that? Uh, where you have that... Uh, uh, just like a, a nostalgia for eras that you never lived in. You, you fantasize that it would be better to be to live in the past. Millennial. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, but there's, like, there's uh, no, actually yeah, a term yeah, for a that. Term. Uh, I can't fucking think But sometimes they so. think like... Ah, I know it'd be cool to live in the old west, and I'd like go but, around. You know, I'm like, no, it would suck fucking ass yeah. to live in the old west. Well, also think about this: as a bar owner, what's your budget on windows? Right. <laughs> it right. seems like somebody's always getting chucked out of a fucking window. Yeah, like that bar owner's point, getting fucked constantly, yeah. or at least no more saloon windows. doors. Well, I mean, yeah, saloon doors like the hinges, dude. Forget about it. I work at Home Depot; those hinges are fucking expensive. <laughs> Yeah, well, it does, and now this is the old west where there is no fucking Home Depot. No, you know you have to go venture yeah, off. I have to go go to, to the fucking blacksmith who I hate. He's a dick. Always a dick. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm a dick. He's like, but guess you, what, bitch? You, you want shit. something made? It's co- you're coming to me, John. John the blacksmith. Come get it. It's always a John. Yeah, John the blacksmith. 
And he's like, hey, man, last week these hinges were, were 50 cents. Now they're fucking 60. What's up? He's like, I don't know, but now they're 75. Why don't you <laughs> shut the fuck up? <laughs> oh, yeah? You want to complain about my prices? Why don't you uh, ride ca- cross country? Yeah, why don't you ride to Tucson and get another hinge, you fucking bitch? See you in seven months, asshole. Yeah, it's John's <laughs> hinges in this town. Let me tell you. I make them all. Very rude right now, guys. I'm sorry. I was trying to look up the, the if there was the, the term for the nostalgia. Uh, yeah. yeah. Fucking ass. <laughs> well, no, it, there is. There's like a psychological term for it, but There's, it's not yeah. important, really. No. <laughs> I was trying to find it. Couldn't, all right? <laughs> Fuck me. It yeah. ends in ania. You know? It's like being crazy about a certain era. There is no greater time to have been alive than right now. That's oh, true. Yeah, well, of course. That's a fucking fact. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's true. We are at every, the height of our technological advancement. Well, it's not just that. Everybody I, mean, I think so every st- era can really say that. Well, yeah, exactly. Well, but yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. We, right now, this moment, is the best time to be alive. Well, and to be fair, everything that comes in the future has already been done. They're just, it, you know, you can make more money if you, like, have everything already fucking retrograded. You right. Know? Like, oh, we already had the S10 before the S even was a thing, you know? Right. It's like, why sell somebody the best, the best version of the product if you can make more money selling the next best version of that product even though you already have the top product. Oh, ah, yeah. uh, this you is know. the the why there's no cure for cancer. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Because we can't just cure it. Right. We got to right. we got to dole that shit out over all these things. Make a lot of money. Well, you right. make money, you help, you know, population control and you know, that shit's all real. It's not it's not like it's not Right. Population you know. control my ass, or population's out of out of fucking control right now. Well, we're if you really standing. think about it, it's not like it's just it's just people like to move all in the same place because it's comfortable, you know. But if you really think about it, most of our country is barren. Well, no, I'm talking globally, like as a as a human as population. a species. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, you well, know, you know it's funny because uh, the the data shows that in first world countries like ours, uh, we're going backwards with our uh, Kid. Uh, oh yeah, no, nobody's having with kids our, now. A lot less. Right. Well, it's just and, like that movie, Children of Men. Right. Know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, like it, like I forget what what the name of the book uh, I read about this was. But uh, currently, uh, the United States, we we replace ourselves at we're, we're our, our uh, I forget what he, he calls it, but we're at like two point two, right? Mm. We we replace ourselves and um, we're just above growing. Not staying our population growth, right? Not counting for immigration, right? Just us making kids, right? right? Like Canada's at a negative; they're at like one point eight. Yeah, everyone's dying. Off, well, right? you also have to remember, Earth as a whole is a closed system, so nothing ever changes. Everything is always in perfect balance, you know. So everything <laughs> that lives has to die. That's why you always hear like people dying when people are born. You right. Know? It's it's a it's a it's a energy transference. Because everything has to have the energy in order to, to survive. You know, plants, plants, everything, animals. So when something dies, something has to live. Right. You know? And yeah. I, that's, that's where it all comes from. So I don't think, personally, we as a species are ever going to inhabit the entirety of the earth it's just we're going to inhabit the the portions of the earth that are comfortable to live in oh well no yeah there there were the uh, first to cover it all there there'd have to be a fuck more than oh, no, eight absolutely. billion well, of us but, but the problem is that the the population that we have now is not sustainable well that's like, where we're, we're, we're tearing down the fucking well that's all that's of our resources well naturally. that's not really true because now you don't you don't even need to eat meat because now there's beyond meat well <laughs> yeah kind. well yeah but but <laughs> as a whole that n- not everyone's eating fucking beyond meat no well no that yet. that's actually because like, we we were always taught that right that overpopulation was gonna fucking kill all of us right, right? but that was under the assumption that it would just keep accelerating right but it turns out when you give a country a fuckload of money and everyone's relatively happy, they don't have nine kids. Right. Right? It, impoverished places have a lot of children because they need a lot of kids, right? Right. And in this guy's book in particular, if you're just talking about politically, first world countries are shrinking their their native populations where every single Muslim country fucks at a five to one ratio. Oh, yeah. No, they're exploding. 
because it's like it's like a good no. it's a uh, poor choice of words you know <laughs> well hey man that's uh, uh, kind of good <laughs> yeah. I mean, in oh, comparison, I in comparison to what we're doing. Ah, uh, I see what you did there. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> I, but uh, <laughs> that's the thing. okay. Yeah. I, I Leave it to the Jew to make an Arab joke. <laughs> that was a, that was definitely a brain bomb. A little defensive over there, Matt. <laughs> Don't fire any rockets over at me. Oh, but no, fuck. That I. That's the point. Uh, is get to fucking. Americans, you know, we don't want to be outnumbered in the world. So uh, well, not only that, but everybody I feel like is afraid to have kids at this point, just because you know how the fuck do you raise a kid? Not in the political, you know, view of the world. Like fuck that shit. That's all fake anyway. So it's you know, but a lot of people I think feel like how am I going to raise this kid in terms of money? Right. You yeah. know, and which is a valid point, true, but. I've seen some really fucking shitty people have kids, and those kids end up being like great kids and growing up and having, you know, successful lives. So, if those people that didn't have anything could have a successful child, like it just shows you that it's not just you that's having a child, it's the people around you that are also helping to pick up the parts that they notice you can't fulfill yourself. You know, that's why everybody has uncles and aunts and, and grandparents. It takes a village sort it's of thing. Exactly. You know, everybody's going to help. And that's what I've noticed is like people that you're like, dude, this person's like 16 or 15 or even younger sometimes, you know? And it's like, they, they have their kids, they have a whole family, you know? And it's like, Jesus, how does well, that, that work that, out? That, but that's know? different than, you know, having a kid at, you know, our age, you know what I mean? Like, of, of course, if you're, 16 years old, unless your family's fucking total shite, they're going to help freaking pick up the slack. Before I had my son, my mom had been asking me, like, you know, when are you going to have kids? You're going to have kids? You know, always asking me. And I was like, you know, I'm just waiting until I feel like I can afford it. Right. My mom was like, if I waited until I felt I could afford you guys, none of you would be here. Right. What do you think, like, your grandmother in the Depression era would be like, well, I guess they're, they're, they're stop having kids then. It's like, no, they, they didn't think of it in the same terms as we did. Right. You know, it's like, oh, this is another little fucker I can put to work. Right. Yeah. Ah, yes. And, and now there's actually work to be had. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, but now we got all these child labor laws and shit now. Oh, that's I mean, okay. Come on. No, that's cool. My that's house needs a lot of shit. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to. Uh, pretty. I'm going to get him a lawnmower for his second birthday. Right. Well, here you go, son. Well, then that's why you get him the popper when it, for his first birthday. Right. You know, to oh, get yeah. him My the... kid was obsessed with vacuums when he was about Liam's age. Really? Just Did... always wanted to vacuum. That's, that's awesome. Like, that's Did cool you... Now, no, nothing. Fucking laziest <laughs> bastard I've ever met in my life. Vacuums are shit, Colin. I bet your fucking <laughs> floors are filthy in your room right now. <laughs> I, I bet he doesn't even know how to use a vacuum. <laughs> no, I'm sure he. He must have that muscle memory. <laughs> <laughs> my kid loves cars, man. Just fucking loves watching. He might even lo- like NASCAR, which I really don't <laughs> want. But I feel like he would if he watched he it. Become a fucking NASCAR driver. Yeah, just like shit up, that goes fast. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a NASCAR driver. Really? Yeah, yeah. I thought that would be so cool. Yeah. And then what happened? Uh, my grandpa said no. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Yo, dude, fund this shit." And he was like, <laughs> "He's like, give me a stock yourself. car, Grandpa." He's like, "You won't prove it." <laughs> and he he proved it. Shit, he did not. Yeah, so, uh, tell us a little bit about this uh, alley review show that that you have going on right now. Uh, well, I mean, you know, I was asked to be a part of some episodes, so it was pretty cool. Honestly, uh, my my buddy Aaron. Uh, Aaron Diaz from high school. He went to Lugo. Okay. Uh, he, you know, he was in, he was the drummer for Death Grip, which is my old, my high school band. Not Death Grips with an S, but Death Grip. Um, was there a he, Death Grips band? There's a Death Grips band. Plural? Now. Yeah. Now. Now there's, well, there's literally yeah. plural. There's two of them at least. <laughs> yeah. So, but for, you know, for us, like back in the day, he played drums and he he was getting into recording and whatnot, you know, back then. And he stuck with it. And now he's actually uh, he's the the lead audio engineer at Be Real Studios. Oh, OK. Um, so Aaron brought me in because he wanted me to always meet Raz Dude, which is the actual uh, creator and and main host of uh, Alley Reviews. Um, 
and literally Raz dude just goes around LA and reviews different alleys, you know, like if he's smoking in it, like which alley's cool to, to hang out in, which one you're going to get stabbed in, right. you know, which one you might find a dead hooker right? <laughs> or a dead hooker and a living hooker, you know, and, and get stabbed and getting well. stabbed, <laughs> you know, at the same time. But yeah, it's, it's really cool because the whole show really uh, emphasizes the reality of L.A., not so much like I, I saw a, a, a news story the other day on, on our channel 11 or Fox 11 News, and they're trying to talk about some, you know, the people that live in the tents, you know, and whatnot. And it's like, yeah, dude, pe people don't just live in Skid Row, you know, people live all over the place. And I really started thinking about it. And that's fucking genius. That's so genius. You get a sick ass tent and you have <laughs> prime real estate in L.A. for free. And even the city will pay you because there's like usually heaps, you know, trash heaps next to all these tents. Well, the city actually pays these people to move that heap of trash somewhere else to clean up that area. So they'll give them incentive money. Like, oh, if you clean your area, we'll give you money. Will you clean this pile of trash that you created? So, which, <laughs> exactly. So pretty much what happens is those people take that pile of trash. They move it down the street. They get their money. They move back to that pile of trash. And then continue the cycle. So, so you've, been, you've, you've been privy to uh, a lot of conversations with uh, homeless people, I take it then. Uh, yeah, there's there's definitely been some some interactions. All right, so I have just your intuition. Let me ask you. What percentage are addicts? Mm, 85. 85? Probably more, and honestly. What's that little percent that's not? Uh, what's people that, that guy doing? That guy is typically... Uh, just schizophrenic, just schizophrenic yeah, health, or usually. you know has some other sort of like mental illness or or honestly there's some people that just fucking they they take that you know pacific northwest trail and by the time they get down here they're just kind of fucked and they just like stay here and just kind of hang out and they have money to fall back on they just don't want to fall back on it you know and or they don't want to get back to reality and have that nine to five like Everybody nowadays, it's funny because a lot of people nowadays are afraid to have the 9 to 5, afraid to have the 401k, you know? And it's because everybody is living this super embellished lifestyle that they're portraying on social media, you know? And they want to have that, you know, that life of everybody else that's already done the work, you know? They, they want to have that. They just want to have everything, you know? And it's like, look, those people that you look up to on social media or whatever, they've already worked for that, right. you know, and now they're showing it off. But now they're this whole generation of like, they want to show shit off, but it's not really theirs to show off. You know what I mean? It's like, Oh, I'm showing off my new car. Well, that's not your fucking car. That's your dad's car that he bought, you know, like you didn't buy that shit. Right. You know? So a lot of people, that's where it's coming from. A lot of, a lot of just like brainwash, you know, that's what I see a lot now. Well, the, there's the, the Instagram influencers that they don't do anything. They're just, f like, flaunting on Instagram. Did you guys see that recently? Like, some chick, I don't know what her name was, but she's one of these Instagram uh, oh, the chick that was crying on. Yeah, yeah, she's like losing her shit. Like, so I moved talking, here to California, so I don't fucking she have has to be no one job of you. Skills. And she has no job skills. She's like, I, she's like, I don't know how to do anything else but be on Instagram. Like she said, that she used to work at McDonald's and then she used to strip, and that was it. And then, well, and two she, valid uh, jobs. Right. Exactly. Yeah, we yeah. got both those things in California. Yeah. Well, they I don't mean, need you to talk on fucking Instagram. Right. Well, you go to a strip club, you want McDonald's after. Right. <laughs> I think it turned out like once, you know, I delved a little deeper into it. Turned out she was like throwing out like racist freaking shit all over. Oh, is that her, why she got banned? She got banned? I'm yeah, saying. she, well, they, yeah, they, they, they deleted her account. And so she lost like 100,000 plus followers and this and that. And she's losing her shit on like on like on a video like YouTube. Dude, like. Th this, this debate has been going on right now. And I've been thinking a lot really hard about it because I'm very firmly free speech. Across right. the board, you gotta yeah. let fucking yeah. people do it, right? Yeah. yeah. At the same fucking time, Facebook, social media, all that shit is owned by people, by corporations, right? Right. 
it, it has no. I don't think it has a fucking responsibility to you as an individual. Oh no! I think yeah, it has no. a, a responsibility as a corporation to do right things, right? Uh, like, should they Protect ban your people? Like, should they ban Alex Jones? I say no. No, of course. But no. do they have the right to do it? Fucking yes. a, they do. Yeah, of so don't got no shoe, no shirt, no shoes, no service. Right. Yeah. Get yeah. the fuck out. My yeah. rule. It's my house. Yeah. My rules. Get the, the fuck the, out. At the end of the day, it's a fucking company. Yeah. yeah. Make they your own have, Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. Sucker. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Go on your own Twitter, and you can get as you can say whatever racist shit you want, yeah. but. Jack or whoever the fuck he says, you can't say. Yeah, that's I, I don't see the fuck problem in that yeah, necessarily. Well, the whole thing too is a lot of people that that call racism, you know, that that play that card, they typically are more racist than the person sure, they're calling yeah, racist right. because they're constantly and, thinking about it. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, it's like, dude, I didn't even think the fact that you know whatever color that person is, you know, right. it's like you're the one that brought that shit up. Right. So why the fuck are you bringing that up? Right. That has nothing to do with the argument. That right. just that's just putting them in a category to make yourself feel better. So fuck off, dude. Like I wasn't talking to you to begin with. Yeah, you know? it's like oh well, these places are giving someone a platform. It's like what, like a soapbox? What if the guy stood on the fucking street? He could right. still get to say whatever the fuck he wants just because it's on a certain stage or on a certain fucking thing. That doesn't mean you have to fucking listen ever. Right. Yeah. Right. That was the whole point of free speech from the get go. That's what I thought. Yep. <laughs> well, yeah, you jump up on your soapbox, and if you don't like what they're saying, you walk away. You yeah. know, it's just nowadays it's so stuck into your shit. Like, yep. it's on you at all times. Your soapbox, everybody else's soapbox well, is stuck to you, you know? culture. It's like oh. if, 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 if one thing is not – you don't like what somebody said, like, oh, then it's get this person fired. Get them – Dude, dox them. Yeah, like, there's nothing worse to me than a person, uh, like, whose whole personality is wrapped up in politics – Right. Like, it, it's who they are. Yeah. Well, and it's not even really who they are. It's just who they want to portray themselves to be. Like, right. most exactly. of those people don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Oh, no. Yeah. I, none, I, most people don't have the credibility. Uh, most people don't even do the research they claim to have done. Right. Well, no. Right. They're, yeah. they're, they're, their research is the top part of the meme. Right. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's the headline. Yeah. The headline of the article that they found on Facebook. Right? Exactly. But all that shit is, is honestly, you know... It's all directed towards certain people, you know, like yep. I, I talk about shit all the time that I would never otherwise talk about just to prove my point to people. And that's that my phone is always listening. And people used to think that I was that I was, you know, just all fucking crazy or like paranoid. But no, if you talk about something, it will pop up into your phone oh, yeah. on some sort of Internet browser your social media feed on, you know, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. It'll pop up a sponsorship for that. Yep. Oh, yeah. You know, and it's like. Well, hey, dude, have you ever been just thinking about something and it popped up? Yeah. That's real fucking sketch. Yeah. You're like, wait too. a minute. How do they know I'm thinking about Oreos? <laughs> Is this a coincidence or uh, are they brainwaving me right now? They're, they're brainwaving everybody. I'm fine with it. I'm like, cool with it too, man. If you, <laughs> hey, fine with it. hey, you know, if they want to brainwave me and be like, yo, oh, cool. I open my phone and there's fucking tits right there. All right. Right. Yeah. With that. It's like, dude, like people are like, uh, like the whole like flat earth conspiracies and they're like, NASA's a lie, right? Na like, there's no such thing as a satellite. Yeah. And I'm like, if it's true, I don't give a shit. Yeah. I don't care. Does my <laughs> phone work? Fine. <laughs> Fuck it. Forget it. Yeah. Like, if someone is willing to go, not just someone, to, to pull off a fucking conspiracy of that length, yeah. where fucking it's all fake, up. space is fake, fucking satellites are fake, right? All that's fake. They must have a real good reason. Yeah, it's like, I appreciate right. that <laughs> amount of effort reason. that they're yeah. putting into What an amazing conspiracy. <laughs> like, how many people are in on it, too? It's like, am, am I the only one not in on this fucking conspiracy? Well, no, that's, that's I don't where want to ruin it for everybody you know, else. Exactly. I think that's where the whole concept of God comes from. I don't think God is like, is, is, I think honestly, like, everybody answers to somebody. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, there's, there's, there's a hierarchy. So, like, who answers to the person that actually makes the shot calls? Because everybody knows that the world is run by seven different people. You know? But uh, that's, uh, the, that's the word. Really? But, everybody but, knows that? But, well, uh, not everybody knows that. But a, a lot of people know, you know. The Rothschilds and the. You know right. what I mean? Like, the, there's seven Mostly people. Mostly baller Jews, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I knew Is what I've been them. told. Those are the ones that got to walk through that that parting sea. You right. know? They're like, dude, you guys walk through that shit. So far. Yeah, you get to you get to run the world down. I, I, well, Matt's a walking contradiction, dude. Because if, if, if Jews are supposed to have money, he's definitely a walking <laughs> dick. It's fucking bullshit. <laughs> Not a good Jew. You already know that. You're, 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 you're Even only half. I did say to. It's because you're only half, but you didn't get the gene that is good with money. I guess. 
You got jeans. that English bad with money jeans <laughs> on the that's other side. The, yeah, that's the 50 50 right there. Yep. You, want to do that, you got your, your dad's money <laughs> handling <laughs> skills, <laughs> your mom's complaint noises. <laughs> 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 I mean, I don't have an argument for that. <laughs> Dude, Uh-oh. speaking of which, I've been meaning to tell you, man. Like, Owen Benjamin got deplatformed all fucking cross the board, right? That guy's nuts. Uh, he's so fucking cr- I, But I can't stop hate watching him. Yeah. Right? And I know I'm just giving him goddamn views and shit, but, like, he's, he's coming. He's had, like, you want to see what crazy, kind of crazy shit he shit. wants to say. Yeah. Dude, that has been the kick for the last couple of weeks. I've been catching every few of like a few uh, you know of his streams every now and then. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you know, he's using racial slurs not ironically in any sense. Yeah. Not well, towards black people, but anybody else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And dude, and just yeah, he had on that Eric Dyson piece of shit who fucking uh, you know, spouts all this this shit about the Jews or, uh, that are controlling the world. Yeah, there's apparently you. Yeah, uh, how many Jews are in on this? By the way, is it just <laughs> these five super rich Jews? Or Dude, honestly, I don't know, man. But that, but that's what I'm saying is like I think that one person has has been like it's just like a family bloodline kind of thing. You know, like that one person, you everybody answers to them. You know, yeah, it's kind of weird, God. and then everything kind of trickles down after that. Man. You know? Yeah, I, I have a hard time believing that that no. guy could like function as a human being. No, he's he's, he's just some fucking asshole in a chair. Like, yeah, dude, what, yeah, whatever, yeah. And they're like, well, what do you think about this? And yeah, but okay. He's like those triplets in Minority Report. He just sits yeah. in a fucking. <laughs> See, I was thinking more Doctor Claw <laughs> from Inspector Gadget. <laughs> yeah, he just cuts a cat and he's like, well, no, that yeah, the, crashed the fucking. <laughs> British pound. Yeah, but you know, it is, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's the cat's thoughts. Oh know? yeah, right. oh, oh yeah, is that right? Yeah. yeah. So are you so saying that the, the cat the was the cat all of this itself. is God? And in, in, yeah, is that, is that where cats are is? God? That's why it, that's why cats are everywhere. <laughs> and Egyptians worship them exactly yeah, they knew because they cats the cats are fucking aliens. They're dicks, is what they are. Well, that's they're, because they're an alien, and they're like fuck you. <laughs> aliens are dicks. Yeah. No, there's we're, us. I, aliens are dicks because if they weren't. They would fucking show themselves and be I like, think "Yo, dude, have. we're aliens." <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. Maybe we're the dicks, and they're just like, oh, let's say "Yeah, I think that we've been introduced, and they're like, "Yeah, we're good." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll come no, back no, in a couple mind. hundred. Forget this. Yeah. Well, you know, I think uh, probably they have visited us in a sense that, like, we would visit someone else in, in our near future, right? Like, it's probably not really theoretically plausible uh, to think that they'd be physically here, but like drones right like that's what we would do if we had a worm if we had you know opened a Eisen's, or einstein rosenberg bridge or whatever it is mm-hmm. you know a black hole that we could send shit through people aren't going through that oh <laughs> yeah no fuck no. we're sending robots and, yeah. and probes and shit through that first before we actually send any people oh, yeah. even, even if it's possible because terminator said you can't really or no wait you can only send back what can you not send back in terminator oh, oh well, well, organic well. material only, or, yeah, only organic. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but the Terminator wasn't a black hole, though, was it? No, no it was just time travel. I don't know how they're doing yeah, it. I, don't know. I, don't know. I think you're thinking uh, Interstellar, where they they went. Oh where yeah, he, he where he's stuck in a bookshelf yeah. the whole time. You're like, yeah. dude, this sucks. I had to watch. Like, <laughs> I watched like four <laughs> times just to be like, what like the you. Fuck oh my god, we're going to space, and it takes all this money, and hey, now I'm stuck in a bookshelf back at home. Like, what that the fuck just that, happened? That was the end, though. That wasn't the whole. Fucking Better or movie. worse than Contact, where it's her dad. Oh, dude, I love Contact because it, those those aliens, those aliens that run, their knees are backwards. It always reminded me of girls in college. Oh, that's like, oh, yeah. no, that. You're, 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 you're thinking, thinking of with uh, Charlie uh, Sheen. Uh, Arrival. That. Is that? Yeah, yeah. Contact was uh, Jodie Foster. Foster. Yeah. Whatever, same person. <laughs> Yeah, that one was cool because they like had to build the whole machine and they got the instructions from the from outer space there. Uh, and then uh, she was a, she's close. Yeah, then yeah. we'll just call it Star- Stargate. Stargate, the series. <laughs> Star- Stargate. Yeah, with Jodie Foster. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but in the end, it's like the aliens her dad because it's not really her dad. It's the the oh, form. Oh, like it she just like forms the, 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 it. Yeah, the, like a kind of like gray shit's ice cream. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Yeah. So what do you so okay? So what do you guys think about this Beyond Meat shit that's popping up everywhere? Man, I you know have to try it. So I, yeah, I, don't, I don't know. know if they can genetically just make meat. No, that the, the the genetic one is the impossible. Beyond Meat is like a substitute. 
I think. And the, well, that's 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 like both. No, I see. I think the Beyond Meat is like a blend between the two, but the Impossible Burger is the one that's a genetically just from a petri dish. Yeah, they made meat. Right. I'm okay with it. Oh yeah. If if it tastes like fucking meat, I mean, I'm down, dude. Whatever. I don't know. I want to taste the animal's soul. I feel like in like 20, 25 years, we're gonna get the same studies coming back. You know, Should've that been we got from that like, genetic right. meat. <laughs> like, I'll uh, you all up. I now your kids look all weird. Yeah. yeah. Now your kids know, got man. hamburger I think, face. I, I think I'm kind of <laughs> at the point now where it's like, uh, like there's just no real t- hamburger back. Like I mean, I'll, I, 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 maybe I would substitute it like every once you know, in a while. Honest, but honestly, like, I feel like I feel like vegans and vegetarians, or no, more more so vegans. Vegans shouldn't be allowed to have any sort of meat substitution. Like you don't want to eat meat, don't eat fucking oh, meat. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you don't. You don't get to. You don't get. Enjoy you don't, you don't get to taste it. You don't get fuck to. You, you abandoned your yeah. fucking. Yeah, yeah. you abandoned post, dickhead. You don't no get to, tofu tacos. No, <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, you don't get shit. <laughs> you eat vegetables. Yeah, raw. That's all you eat. You better. That's it. No fucking jackfruit for no, you. You don't want to eat meat. Why are you gonna fucking have a meat substitution? No. You didn't want meat. No, yeah. you don't get meat. <laughs> Yeah, have keep fucking keep fucking wild, like in a, in, a, in a fucking like soup kitchen line like you know oh let me have that nope <laughs> nope fuck you dude I was just watching you this. had your fucking chance yeah you had your chance you 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 said no I'm not I don't want to be a human I watch uh these um the history uh God what's the name um uh, they're like short little history lessons on on YouTube uh, I I like to watch a lot and they're doing the guy is doing one right now about uh, European expansion right. And uh, like the Colombian Exchange, right, where Columbus got there and gave and got all that coke, gave all that coke, <laughs> and gave everybody measles and chicken pox and shit, and left and got that, that took sounds like a good trade. Well, they were talking about the different foods that had been completely foreign to England, right, in Europe, and vice versa. Like, uh, say, like the banana, right? The banana comes from psych fucking Africa. It's not native to South America at yeah. all. The banana, yeah. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> How about a potato? So that's only American. It was an import back to Europe in right. the 1600s. What? They didn't have potatoes? <laughs> The Irish didn't have potatoes before 1600. That's how. That's why they had that great potato famine. They're like the, the potatoes <laughs> were like no. We, we never this had is the this wrong before. Place. <laughs> yeah, they just called it the famine. famine. The, the, yeah. Well, the famine. We had the famine. It was post. Was was after the fact. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we they shouldn't have grown all, all these fucking potatoes. <laughs> We yeah. ate all of them, and now we have no more. <laughs> like, I thought they would regenerate. <laughs> but no, uh, yeah, it's was, it was very interesting to see, like, uh, you know, like sugar had never existed in on the European continent before the 1600s. Yeah. That's fucking insane. And, and how valuable it was. They were talking about, like, you know, queens yeah, giving their daughters. People used to fucking travel on boats. To get sugar. That's how good it is. Yeah. yeah. I'll fucking kill a motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Spice trade. They kill a lot yeah, of motherfuckers to make sugar. Yeah. It's all mm, 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 so yeah. tasty, tasty sugar. <laughs> Everybody's concerned about blood diamonds. Yeah, the about bloody blood sugar. sugar. Blood, blood sugar, sugar diamonds. <laughs> blood <laughs> paprika. <you> diabetes. <laughs> paprika. Blood cumin. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Because a lot of people died for the spice trade, too. Yeah. But if you think about They're it, like, oh, if no. your food... If your food sucked, and then some guy came along and was like, "Oh, hey, let me, let me hook you, help you out here." <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Where did you get this? Oh, it's on the other side of the world. I we can have never to go. eat it without this again. We yeah. have to fucking. Where is it? Yeah, it's a long way. I'll kill a bunch of people. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'll just I'll just put this wooden boat with a bunch of people on it yeah. in the middle of the ocean and hope we get there. I'm going to make a farm over there. How are you going to pull that off? Uh, I'm going to bring some guys. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah, I'm going to bring some people. I'm going to bring a couple heads. I'm going to I'm gonna ask some people if they want to come over. Real nicely. <laughs> with nets. <laughs> 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 All right, dude. Well, we're at about an hour. So oh, shit. we're going really to wrap this shit up. That's right. All right uh, do, do you have anything to plug? Any Alley Reviews, any? right? Uh, Alley Reviews uh, Season 4 has started on, on Be Real TV on YouTube. So you can check that out. Uh, this whole next season is all at night, so you guys can see what's going on at night in these alleys. It's it, it gets pretty fucking wild. Alleys are definitely sketchier they in the dark. Are, they are. <laughs> but people do live in them at night too, so oh, yeah. we need to we need to see what their story is. Uh, other than that, I got some some music stuff coming up. You know, I'm doing a, a new record with uh, my buddy Mark Munoz, uh, a new Sastry. 
uh, on drums, and then Mike Sameski is, and uh, Francesco Artusato from uh, All Show Parish and Light the Torch. Uh, he's going to be producing it. So sweet. That's called Marklar. Oh uh, yeah, that's we that already so. we have our EP on on Spotify and Apple and all that sweet. stuff. So Marklar uh, is definitely going to be. Uh, getting busy for this next for this next year as far as releasing a full album you know we're not trying to do the ep thing again um but yeah other than that just you know been uh been playing a lot of legator guitars and the you know super comfortable super nice um what's your insta my instagram is uh at pierre roland blaze so it's all one word and Blaze is spelled I S instead of Z E. Uh, yeah. So Fuck yeah. It. Check out Aller Reviews. Check out Mark Lar. And hit this motherfucker up on Instagram. Yeah. That's right. Alright, thanks guys. Later. Later. Later.